Hey guys, it's Abby, and welcome back to the channel. I have a little vlog for you today because it is autumn season, and as promised, I like making these seasonal vlogs. I feel like there's some sort of like time capsule for me, and so much has changed since the spring vlog, I realized, like so much of me and my environment and how I think and how I feel. And spoiler alert, it's been better, so I think that's great. So I hope you enjoy this little documentation of my autumn, especially this past October actually. So I wanted to share with you a few things I got from Moranga, which was the stationery store me and Ellen went to. The funny thing is, I really like this um, Traveler's Notebook uh, number 25 MD Paper Cream. I think this is a new addition to their um, line of inserts, but personally this is my favorite for travel journaling in general. And I saw Louisa, the owner, like take out the entire um, stash and it's like a pack of five and I'm like, can I get all five? Like, this is so like, we'll take the lot, like Harry Potter energy. So I got, actually I got four, and then what Ellen got the other one, and then I had another spare. And then I'm currently using a uh, one half trip refill with the same um, paper inside. So the cover is also the same, the cover color. So I got these for my future trips. And then I also got a passport size. So when I went home to the Philippines, I used a passport for my journaling. I actually enjoyed it, so I kind of want to um, do it again. And then I got this Midori A6 blank journal. So this one will be for my fountain pen ink swatches. I actually don't have a proper notebook for my fountain pen ink swatches and I wanted to do that this time around so I'm going to carve out some time to organize it and I also realized since most of the journals I use are MD paper doesn't make sense to swatch it on Tomorrow River paper so I'm just gonna swatch it on MD paper so I know what to expect and I've been eyeing this for a while now because my friend CH actually bought one when she was in Berlin so this is the monocle soft cover notebook in collaboration with Leuchtturm and it's really great because well first of all it's yellow and the texture is like a nice linen-y feel and I really love that so 
I'm going to make this kind of my work notebook. It has just plain dotted pages inside. And I know it's a small detail, but the numbers are actually in serif. And that's kind of a big deal for someone like me. So I'm gonna use that for um, work planning. And also at the back, there are some um, illustrations, which I find interesting. I think it's part of the Monocle collab. And yeah, it's, it has like 20 ideas for living a quieter, more considered life. What a vibe. So yeah, I'm super excited to use this and I already actually opened it. So let's open a couple of packages today and actually my printer is supposed to arrive later so I do hope it arrives. I'm supposed to be home to sign it because it's a big thing. Meanwhile, I got this uh, kitchen scale. It's actually not for the kitchen. I mean, I could use it for coffee but it's for my shop so I can properly weigh every item in the orders and I felt like I really needed one for this and for Happy Meal as well. So Ooh, I also got it in white because I like my stuff white or black, just basic. It's pretty good. I ordered more um, Instax films. Actually, I have my sister's printer with me. It used to be mine, actually. I just gave it to her, but I borrowed it. And so I'm printing a couple of pictures and I wanted to um, make my own like journal kit, you know, with this one. And I also wanted to just make one for myself. And yesterday, I Oh, yeah. I got these envelopes, but actually they won't be the ones I'm using for the Happy Meal because the quality is actually not as thick as I wanted it to be, but 
I might just use them for, I don't know, some kind of package in the future in case I come up with something. I always like to have extra packaging on hand. But yeah, it's it's pretty pretty thin. Not not a fan of it. Like I don't think this will survive in just mail. Like I have to put it in a mailer. So I ordered a bunch of packaging for the upcoming uh, new pop up shop. Oh my god, I'm so heavy. And I think it's this one. And as I mentioned, the Happy Mail envelopes, I ordered something with better quality that Sarah recommended. And it's in this really nice um, yellow, golden yellow color. So it's pretty thick. And what's great about it is it actually seals by itself. So I'm really happy with this one. More boxes. Okay. This one I wanted to try out the mailers, so let's see how that looks like. Okay, cool. Here. So this will fit my zines and also the world traveler journaling kit and i think it fits really well yay cool
So while waiting for the coffee to brew, I wanted to show you a couple of things I got yesterday. So uh, me and my good friend Fanny, we went to Museum Barberini in Potsdam and yeah, we got the maps obviously. Also, I brought my traveler's uh, notebook passport, which you'll see in one of my videos, how I did my setup, but I actually haven't started, but I started like pasting stuff and like keeping the tickets here. So I'm going to do that on my free time. I'm so excited to try the passport size because I don't really journal with the passport like for travels. I recently got a printer and I really enjoy the print quality so here are some I have to cut them but I asked my uh, friend and patron Pei to illustrate Fall Abbey so it's super cute so I'm gonna cut them up and give some to my friends and here are a couple of series I've been watching so Attorney Wu I've been watching W the world's apart with a couple of friends we do it like on a weeknight it's super fun and then for halloween <laughs> corpse bride and the nightmare before christmas so i really also enjoyed listening to midnight so i'm gonna make a midnight's journal spread soon i really like this crate so i put all of my printed stuff that i have to cut here for our museum trip Sadly, we didn't get any tickets because I ordered online, but I got a postcard and I super like this um, packaging. So the postcard is also really pretty. It's the exterior facade of Museum Barberini, which is beautiful. It's so symmetrical. And then I went to Idei, which was the stationery shop that you saw. Actually, it's like a craft store, kind of. So I'll show you the stickers. They're really, really pretty. Um... This one is like very holiday themed. The dog one is so cute. So it also comes in like two sheets. Oh, this is four sheets of the same design. Then I saw this craft paper round stickers. I thought it'd be nice to add to my already growing collection of dot stickers. To be honest, I'm not a fan of um, gel stickers, but the designs were just super cute and I couldn't find the non-gel format. It's probably my favorite. Um, this one is Merry Christmas and it has like elves, angels, but I like the illustration style. It's so nice to have like pink accents with red and like pine green and like some bits of blue for Christmas. I also made sure to get ephemera wherever I can. So we went to Potsdam and you had to get another ticket for that. Not like the within Berlin city ticket. So I had printed out these tickets. So they're going to be in my journal as well. So, the past couple of weeks have been super tiring. I actually had to work on several labor-intensive stuff, which is something I'm not so used to anymore. I did pack the Happy Mail. I also packed all of the pop-up webshop orders. So, thank you so much to my patrons. I think most of them were from the US and Europe for ordering. So if you'd like to get a hold of my zines or some journaling kits, they're still available this November on Patreon. And it's just a limited time only because I don't really plan to run the shop from Europe. Also, I got a lot of new tech stuff. So as usual, tech stuff is so overwhelming to me. I got a printer. The printer is working really great, by the way. So I'm really happy about that. I also got 
a little vacuum, a handheld vacuum. So I'm going to be doing a lot of cleaning soon. And also the weather has been slowly, like the temperature has been dropping down bit by bit. I mentioned a couple of videos ago that I've been having like seasonal depression. I think now it's a bit better since the clock, you know, went back to the CET time. The CET rather, I realized that I wake up relatively early now, which is great because there was a period in October where I woke up at 10 p.m. No, I woke up at 10 a.m. and then I would sleep at 10 p.m. So it, you know, 12 hours, that's like too much sleep. So I thought that routine worked for me. So I actually did a little tweak. I wanted to see like if I had dinner early, if I finished work early, and if I went to bed early, like nine or 10, I would wake up earlier, but it didn't happen. I guess because my body has been so used to sleeping usually from 11 to 12 and then waking up at eight. So now we're in a, in a very, very um, stable state. So I hope that stays the same until winter because it's kind of hard to get a lot of sun from here. And I realized also that this is so different from when I lived in New York because New York had a lot of sun despite the autumn and winter season. And I didn't really get any seasonal depression at all. So that made me miss New York a bit, to be honest. But yeah, I've been uh, finding ways to adjust to it, like taking more walks, meeting a lot of friends. I also have... Um, met a lot of people, met up with a lot of people, not me. I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm in this phase where I'm like, I'm already super happy with the friends I have. I don't want to meet new people because I get super overwhelmed. I don't know, I think like this is something that I've been dealing with since moving to a new city. Like meeting people is great, but I also don't like meeting too much people because I have to explain again, why I moved, what I'm doing here, and everything is just so much to unpack. I don't want to keep retelling the story of how it took me three years to get this visa and to move to Berlin, how I had this whole like dark period and everything. So you guys don't also know that much about it because it's, it's a whole lot. It's for another time. But I am looking forward to the rest of November. I'm actually traveling just like taking short trips within Germany and I've been wanting to do that for a while so I finally like bit the bullet and um, book the tickets. I'm also super super excited for winter because I won't be here. I'm going to go back home to the Philippines so more on that soon but I do hope you enjoyed this little autumn vlog. I'm also super grateful to all of the lovely people that I've met. I always say this because friends for me are very important and I grew up not having that much friends. I grew up actually being left out by friends. So having a lot of people to count on is really an amazing thing for me. So I love you friends. And um, yeah, there are a lot of things also happening over on Patreon this month. So make sure to check that out. As usual, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you have a great rest of the month. Always be creating and I'll see you soon. Bye!